increasingly clear that no matter what party is in power, so long as our national security needs keep rising, an economy hampered by restrictive tax rates will never produce enough revenues to balance our budget, just as it will never produce enough jobs or enough profits. Surely the lesson of the last decade is that budget deficits are not caused by wild-eyed spenders, but by slow economic growth and periodic recessions. And any new recession would break all deficit records. In short, it is a paradoxical truth that tax rates are too high today and tax revenues are too low. And the soundest way to raise the revenues in the long run is to cut the rates now. The experience of a number of European countries and Japan have borne this out. This country's own experience with tax reduction in 1954 has borne this out. And the reason is that only full employment can balance the budget and tax reduction can pave the way to that employment. The purpose of cutting taxes now is not to incur a budget deficit, but to achieve the more prosperous expanding economy, which can bring a budget surplus. I repeat, our practical choice is not between a tax cut deficit and a budgetary surplus. It is between two kinds of deficits, a chronic deficit of inertia as the unwanted result of inadequate revenues and a restricted economy, or a temporary deficit of transition resulting from a tax cut designed to boost the economy, increase tax revenues, and achieve, I believe, and I believe this can be done, a budget surplus.